Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm sitting down to do my makeup with you guys and do like a little product breakdown and show you my makeup routine lately. Also a little life update because I feel like it's been a while since we actually had a little chat. Before I start off, can you guys comment what you think of this quality because I've been struggling with my new camera a lot. I tried to film this video last week, uploaded it and the quality was really trash. I think I put it on the wrong setting, so hopefully this is looking better. I'm gonna make sure to put all the products down below if you guys are curious to see what I'm using. But I'm just gonna be going in with a primer. How is everyone doing? I feel like it's, you know, like I've never been so active on YouTube, but at the same time, I haven't been sitting down and actually like had a chat. Where do I even begin? 2021. It's been one of the most magical years for me. Obviously 2021 is still halfway through, but I feel like it's been the year of my life for growing. I've never grown so much. I'm gonna be going in with my NARS foundation. I used to use this all over my face in Dubai because it's super, super long lasting. But in Sweden, I feel like it can be a little too much because we don't live in like super humid weather. So what I do with this is I'll put it on the problematic areas that I have. So usually I have a little bit of scarring um on the lower part here so what i'll do is i will dot this super loud car can you like stop i'm gonna put this on the areas which i feel like i need a little extra coverage it's not too much and then for the rest of my face i'm going in with the mac face and body because this is super light foundation i feel like it's perfect for the summer Anyway, where was I? I was talking about growing, right? So I think Dubai really made me go outside of my comfort zone a lot. I was doing things that I constantly felt uncomfortable doing. But looking back at it, I have never grown so much in my life. And regarding how it's going with if we're going back to Dubai or if we will be staying in Stockholm... Basically, the plan was to come back to Sweden over the summer as Dubai is super hot. Lots of things are closed. We just figured like we might as well just come home with our family and stay here over the summer. Both of our goal is to go back to Dubai. We both loved it so much, felt so comfortable and it was amazing. Like the best thing I've ever done, right? But the only thing is Philip needs to get a new job. So he's currently looking for a new job. Um, the plan is to go back in September if everything goes as planned. If you live in Dubai and you know a spot for business marketing or business economics or literally anything else, you can just DM me. I'd be so happy to see if the opportunity fits Philip. I know that my platform is so big that I can actually reach out to so many people and I'm so thankful for that. So. In case he gets a job, we will be going back in September. My plan is still to go back, but obviously I need him to come with me. Like, I just, I don't know if I would go back without him, if you know what I mean. As of for right now, we are looking for an apartment. I actually think we found one that we might be moving into 1st of July. It's going to be a super short period, so we're only going to live there over the summer till September. Hopefully this one that we did uh, go for a viewing a couple days ago. They'll accept us and we will move in there 1st of July. I will update you guys. Sweden over the summer and then inshallah we're going back to Dubai. I'm going to be cream contouring. I'm using this one from Fenty in the color Truffle. I just recently got this. If you guys have seen my weekly vlog, then you know that I picked this one up from Sephora. I'm loving the color. It's super good for summer. It's a little bit gray though, so it's more like contouring rather than bronzing. I've personally been feeling very okay with coming back to Sweden. I was a bit worried that I was going to be stressed and not liking it as much as Dubai, but... Honestly, it's such a good weather now. I'm seeing my friends. I really am living my best life, so I can't really complain. Also, everything with YouTube is going so good. Like, my career is definitely taken off a lot this year. Also, in the process of getting a manager, I was gonna get an agency. Basically, for those of you guys who might not know, you get an agency to kind of handle all your emails, reach out to brands, kind of just expand your career, right? I was gonna work with an agency and then they sent over the contract and I'm like, okay, love it, I'm gonna sign it. But like, there are a few points that I'm not really loving. It was like, you have to post in like underwear stuff and I'm like, not really gonna do it because it's not me. And then there was like a few other things that I didn't really um, agree with. So I told them like, hey, can we change this? contract to kind of meet you guys halfway and they're like no you have to like go with it that was a big no-no for me and i just said no thanks i'm moving all by myself and i just recently came in contact with a girl here in sweden actually she's managing other influencers emails and reaching out to brands her job is basically to take care of all the things that 
I am not bothered to take care of. I'm really excited. Hopefully it goes through. I was going to go back to work in an Urban Outfitters this summer. Um, they reached out to me. I was like, do you want to work part time? And I'm like, I don't think because I really want to be doing this, especially because I'm really enjoying YouTube and social media right now. I have had like points in my life where I really am doing it just for the money, but I really don't feel like doing it. I don't feel happy. I always like get so much anxiety logging into say Insta, but Honestly, like right now, I really am enjoying it and I'm not feeling any anxiety or pressure. Going in with blush. This is my favorite part of my routine because it's really made me... It really made my makeup look super different. I feel like ever since I started using this product, my makeup has been very glowy. I will apply this kind of like a highlighter. So it's like a combined highlighter blush. Oh my god, just... Ugh, I die. It's so nice. I would love to ask you guys if you would be interested in, say if I came up with a brand, like um, a product, or I did something, right? Um, would you guys purchase? And what would that product be? I have been a contact lens ambassador for years. I figured contact lenses would be um, what I would want to create because first of all, I am a heavy user of contacts myself. Oh my God, I forgot, I should put them in. But then I'm like, I'd also really want to do something fashion related. So here is when you guys need to come in and help me. What do I do? So now that I've worked with all those cream products, I'm going in with powder and this is just to set those areas that will crease or move. So I will set my under eye and then also I will apply this say on the sides of my mouth. A little bit like on the sides of my nose, just those places like I don't mind being matte. So like that's pretty much it. I have not been wearing a pair of falsies for six months. I mean, maybe once, but like overall, I'm not a heavy falsie user anymore, which is so sick because I used to love falsies. What I do with my eyes now, I'll go in with this shade from the Tarte palette. It's called Flower Child. And I will apply this all over my lid. Like this. I just feel like this eye makeup look is super natural and... Honestly, can we be bothered with falsies? The crease shade I'm going in with is Sweetheart. This is kind of like a pinky crease color, which I find super nice and natural. I'm just applying this like all over. Another thing that people love to point out recently is that my aesthetic and style has changed so much. If you guys have been following me on social media for a while, since say last year, my style has changed drastically i personally want to say I used to dress super mainstream like whatever you see on insta is like crop tops baggy jeans jordan shoes that style like the tiktok style i used to dress exactly like that and i used to love it right don't get me wrong like the main reason to why i used to dress that way is because of social media like when you go on to say tiktok or insta you're being feeded with this style and it's basically what's in right now. Everyone's dressing that way and that is basically why I used to dress that way. Then I went to Dubai and I started experiencing much more like feminine and grown up clothes and aesthetics because the women in Dubai guys, they are just so, ugh, so luxury. They dress in super like clothes that are not revealing overall but they just look super high quality and i live for that i just live for like say covering your whole body but like having a really nice makeup look blowed out hair you just look super expensive that way and they were wearing like super nice jewelry i was just inspired with a whole new aesthetic and then i was just tempted to try dressing more classy and feminine you guys seem to like it i personally feel much more comfortable in wearing these kinds of clothes because now i don't feel like i am first of all showing off my whole body but secondly i also don't feel super childish i feel like everyone's dressing that way so whenever you wear something different you will stick out from the rest the way i get inspired is from watching lots of old movies listening to lots of old songs from like the 70s 80s I'm gonna be drawing on some freckles i have been loving this for years and i still do it sometimes if i feel like it but mainly i will love to do freckles and i just take my contour shade and i do some light dots mainly on my cheeks because that is where you would get natural freckles Taking a little bit of liquid highlighter and putting it under my eyeliner because it's given me such a lifted look. Um, 
What are you guys doing this summer, by the way? I would love to know. Something that I'm super excited about is this summer I might fix my teeth. I know I never really talked about this subject because it's something that I've been trying to learn to love for years. Ever since I was a child, I remember telling the dentist when I went for my yearly checkup, I was like, can you please do something about my teeth? And he was like, no, they're probably gonna straighten out. With the time, I'm now 24 almost, and they're not necessarily crooked. It's more like the shape of the teeth. They're kind of rounded, and I would love to have more of like a straight line. Those four teeth in the front that we might change. I have an appointment tomorrow, like a consultation uh, with a really, really good dentist. So if I do end up going through the process, it will happen in August. I'm very excited, not gonna lie, it's something that has been bothering me for so long and I've just been putting it off because I'm like, it's gonna be so expensive, it's not worth it, I'm not really that bothered. But like, honestly, if I can't even smile in a picture because I feel uncomfortable, I'm gonna go change it, period. Kind of the same thing with my nose job, I remember so many people telling me that my nose was fine, that I should love myself, and that it looked amazing, and now afterwards I'm like, I'm glad I did it. Like, if I would have listened to all those people, I would have just been unhappy with myself. And I'm not saying go and change your whole look. That is not what I'm supporting. I'm bronzing up my face. This is something that I've been really loving to do. It's giving me such a sun-kissed look. I use the MAX Face and Body. Is this Face and Body? No, Mineralized Skin Finish in the color Dark Deepest. I love this color. It's super dark and gorge. I'm gonna be doing my lips. I feel like this is the most requested thing online right now. The lip liner is NYX in the color Nude Truffle. I also love the color Espresso, but it's a little bit darker. So I go in with this one. We discussed how much my whole face changed whenever I took out my lip filler and redid it supernatural. Whenever I look back to my old videos and I see how bloated I looked because of my lips. My whole face was swollen up because of that filler. And, oh, can we just discuss how much more natural I look now? I think this is a subject that's not spoken about enough. If you have had your lip fillers for over five years, you should go and get it redone because fillers change, fillers move, they migrate, and nobody told me at the time, but what I noticed was my whole face started changing so much. I'm so happy I did it. So if I'm that person to tell you, if you feel like something is off with your face, it probably is. Not only your lips, but like say even under eye filler or cheek filler, jaw filler, everything moves and you should get it redone every once in a while. Recently, I've been loving just to go in with the Fenty Gloss in the color Sweet Mouth. I used to go in with lipstick, but I've just been a little bit over that look. I love a dark liner and then a gloss in the middle is giving me super J-Lo vibes, super 90s. So cute. And then sometimes, if I feel like it, you guys have probably noticed from my vlogs that I will go in with my brown liner and do a little bit of an inner liner just a tad bit i screwed up my whole eye what is that i'm so sorry but like what is that <laughs> ew that's eye poop oh my god i literally didn't do this in the makeup tutorial are you mad okay trying to fix there we go And then I'm going in with the NARS Blush and Orgasm X. See, the thing is, I have so many steps, but most of the steps are just going back to the blush again or going back to the bronzer again. Because I feel like whenever you do your makeup, sometimes you lose a little bit of color. So what I like to do is like going back to the blush. So I did put the Charlotte Tilbury on already, but now I'm going in with this just to like enhance the blush. So the placing is right above your cheekbones. So I will do right there. So you guys, can you imagine if I actually do move out in July? It would be so much fun for the content. And also the apartment that hopefully we will be moving into is in the middle of the city. It's literally so central and... I mean, I would love to live in Central just for a couple of months during the summer. It'd be so much fun, guys. We can just go to Zara every morning. We can go grab a coffee. I will live super close to Nelly. She's also living in Central. I mean, I'm just super excited if all that happens. Okay, this is pretty much my makeup look, guys. I don't really do much more. Actually, yes, I do. 
the last thing that I do guys this has been a thing that I've been doing and loving right is I will go in with a setting spray I've been loving this milk one recently and I will spray this onto my beauty blender this is something I saw on TikTok and it's been working wonders for me I spray it onto this and I will just tap this on my face and it will make it look so dewy so summery but this is not good if you guys are scared of looking dewy because it will definitely make you look um, a little bit like you've been sweating but I personally love that look I now have only one step left in my makeup routine this is something I've been doing the last six months ever since I moved to Dubai I started loving wearing contact lenses and I love the Solotica Aquarela in the color sienna brown and golden ochre today i'm doing sienna brown this is the packaging they come in and these are daily lenses so you get a big pack of multiple lenses when you purchase there's two reasons to why i love especially these ones so much the first one being the comfortability in the eye i can wear these for 10 to 12 hours without even remembering that they're in. The second reason to why I love these lenses so much is how natural they look in the eye. Because I've worn so many contacts these couple years, I now know what looks natural, what doesn't, what looks good in pictures, in camera, and these are everything approved in real life people will never ask if i'm wearing lenses i will zoom you guys in you know that i have brown eyes naturally look how good these look i'm so sorry but are you crazy how is that even a contact lens it literally becomes one with my eye and i always get so many compliments because i look extra good that day nobody really knows i'm wearing lenses that's what they look like if you do decide to pick up some lenses don't forget to use diana 10 on your order to save money i will make sure to put the exact link to these lenses down below also my coupon code and everything so that pretty much guys is my everyday makeup routine is what i do day to day even when i go out and want to look more spiced up i might add a little bit more shadow oops neighbor Babes, please don't forget to go onto my Insta and give me a follow there. Also, subscribe to my YouTube channel. And until next time, take care of yourselves. I love you so much. Bye.